Hey there, I'm Christopher and I am a survivor. I am a recovering alcoholic. I've got a couple of pretty cool days coming up here. Um, actually, just as I was setting up this video, I noticed that today was the day that one year ago we attended our daughter's spring sing concert for school. And we, ha we had that same concert a couple of weeks ago and I didn't recognize the auditorium. Um, we were there for the concert last year and I was so drunk that I, when we were back there this year, I didn't recognize the joint. Um, so it was pretty extraordinary recently to, uh, to be there and <laughs> really enjoy it and then give our, our daughters roses after the fact. That was, that was neat. That was kind of when I felt like I had arrived as dad. Um, it was two days after that that I checked, or actually that I admitted that I had a problem. Two days after that, I checked into rehab. So today is 305 days sober. There's some math there that I'll explain along the way. But um, needless to say, over the next couple of days, I've got some really cool milestones. And it's it's pretty awesome that you guys are going to be with me for that. Um, I've got anxiety. I've got depression. i got a lot of problems, man. Um, and that, that kind of brings us to why I'm doing this. Um, I'd be lying to you if I told you that this doesn't help me. Um, I have a lot of uh, components to my recovery program so that I can do what I call thriving in sobriety. Um, those components are exercise, mindfulness, meditation, uh, studying scripture, and you know, really getting into more of uh, religious and spiritual practices. Um, I think I mentioned exercise, and you know, one of the things that I do too is I really enjoy helping others and uh, putting myself out there. The most important part of my program, I feel, is a central theme of being honest. Um, Kayla knew that I was hurting and struggling, but she had no idea to what extent. I hid my alcoholism. Um, I drank in private. Um, and because of that, it, it continued to snowball. I was a very high-functioning alcoholic. So I can't tell you how awesome it is to go to bed at night knowing I have virtually nothing to hide. Nobody's perfect. Um, but I'm very, I'm putting myself out there and it's incredibly helpful. I can also go to bed at night knowing that maybe in doing these videos and in doing all the work that I'm doing, if it's helping a couple of people, it, that, that, that makes it all worth it right there. Um, in terms of like from a logistical standpoint, what I'm doing is you might know that I'm working on a memoir. Um, now that I've been laid off from work, I uh, have the opportunity to work on it every day. Uh, I did some writing yesterday and did three whole pages of revisions yesterday, which was super, uh, or this morning, which is super great. So that's coming together. And I took this whole video thing for a test drive yesterday and I really enjoyed it. It was, it was wild to see everybody chiming in. It was also very strange. In my former life as a journalist, I might take video of a, an ongoing structure fire and we might see a couple of dozen sad faces go up um, and maybe some people saying thoughts and prayers. But it wasn't like yesterday where I had people actively rooting for me, saying they were sorry for what I was going through, but most powerfully saying, you know, nice work, we've got your back. That's one thing I did not anticipate when I admitted that I had a problem. Uh, that weekend, leading up to my intake in treatment, I, I reached out to so many people, laid everything on the table, and what I did not anticipate was everybody saying, I'm sorry you're going through this, I love you, I'm here for you, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to help you get through this. So this is me creating a space where I want to hear from you, Anyone who is affected by mental illness, alcoholism, any sort of substance abuse, it doesn't have to be happening to you directly. It, it was happening to my wife. And at some point, we're going to take advantage of couples counseling because we need to heal. This is a place for us to heal. This is a place for us to cry. This is a place for us to laugh. Laughter is a huge part of my program. So there's going to be a lot of laughter here. Um... One of the main reasons I decided to do this, apart from having a lot of extra time on my hands now, is that over the past week, I've been thinking a lot about a particular part of society. I'm not going to lessen the impact on anybody um, or downplay anything. 
uh, this, this sucks for everybody, what's going on in the world. And there are certain parts of society that I feel for in particular. One of them I completely identify with is those who are battling addiction, those who are struggling with depression and anxiety. Um, there is a certain irony to this that, is, that, I, that I have to laugh about or else I'd cry, and that's that um, people with mental illness, I'm finding, at least for me, and I'm seeing it being spread out there, there's a certain amount of been here, done this, and even an ironic um, calm about this. Over the past 40 years, I've been trying to point to this is why I'm sad. This is what's wrong. That's what the problem is. So I can tell everybody, here's why I'm struggling. I'm struggling because X, Y, and Z is wrong. When in fact, when you're battling mental illness, you don't know what's wrong. You don't know why you feel nothing. And you look under the nothing for something and there's more nothing. Now with all of this happening, there is something. There's something that we can point to, a sort of galvanizing effect of we're all in this together now. This is why I'm sad. This is why I'm hurting. So it's kind of morbid, macabre, whatever you want to call it. But the fact is, those of us who are batting mental illness, we've been here, we've done this, and there's, there's something strangely familiar about it. Um, people who are battling addiction, they need our help right now. They need somebody to just simply reach out and, and, and talk to. Um, it might not be a matter of, hey, you haven't thought about drinking yet today, have you? You know what that's going to do. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to trigger somebody. So really just connecting with human beings. That was one of the best things about my commute at work is that it gave me a chance to reconnect with people and realize I was still in lockstep with all these people that maybe I grew apart from over the years. So take advantage of this time. Take advantage of the opportunity to reconnect with people and to share memories, dreams, goals. Talk about the opportunities that we might have. I know it sucks. I know so many things have been stripped away from us, but it's made room for some other things, I think. Um, it is pretty cool that I get the chance to interact with you guys on this, and I really want you to take advantage, if you're comfortable, of putting your stories out there so we have something to discuss. Please share this so that we have a bigger, more productive conversation. Um, please offer your suggestions. Um, I have a working title for my book, but you know, I, I think that eventually I'm going to want to brand this thing. And I have some super intelligent friends. Uh, Mindy Neenhouse is one of them. My friend Chris Etheridge is going to chip in because all these people know digital marketing and, and social media. My friend Helen Kosterman is going to be huge. I, this thing can be so big and powerful. We can shatter these stigmas if we all work together and create this safe community. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear how you're doing. I'd love to help. That'll help me. So without further ado, I'm going to go do some homemade Mad Libs with my kids because I think it's going to be hilarious and they might actually learn something. And uh, yeah, I love you all very much. Hang in there. Let me know how I can help. Let your friends know how you can help. Let's put it out there. Let's heal together. The world, I'm going to say it every time, the world is not coming apart. We're coming together. Peace and love.